Hey everybody, what's up? So today we're going to be checking out this external Thunderbolt NVMe SSD for your M1 Mac from Sabrent. The performance of this external SSD is amazing. I also have a protective case for it, so stay tuned and let's check it out. Big thanks to Sabrent for sending this to me to review. This is their 2TB Rocket Extreme Q. What's cool about this device is that it automatically detects whether it's plugged into a USB or Thunderbolt 3 port to provide the best experience. It is also plug and play so no need to install any drivers or connect any external power supply. Here's a look at the box for a more detailed breakdown of the specs. I'll also leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. It comes in this nice case, you have some performance optimization guide here if you're using a Windows PC. This is the SSD drive, let's get it out. And this box contains our cables. The first cable we got is a USB-C to USB-A cable, let's get it out of this plastic and check it out. Here we go, so USB-C and USB-A. This next cable is the Thunderbolt 3 cable, let's get it out. So it has the Thunderbolt icons along with the Sabrent logos on it. Now let's take a closer look at the drive itself. It's very small which makes it perfect for traveling. At the top you have the Thunderbolt logo and the Sabrent logo on the bottom. It is also solid aluminum so it feels pretty durable. Nice padding on the bottom to keep it in place on a desk. Here's that Thunderbolt 3 port that's also a USB 3.2 port on the bottom. Indicator light on the top. Overall very nice design and build quality. Stays in place on the desk. The 2TB configuration that I have goes for less than $350 on Amazon, but you can get it in different sizes from 500GB upwards to 8TB. As I said before, it supports Thunderbolt and USB devices which is pretty cool, not a lot of drive has that feature. Later in the video, I'll connect it to my iPad Pro and show you. Here's a look at the speeds you can expect. I'll do some real world speed tests later in the video, so stay tuned for that. In USB mode, it goes up to 900 megabytes per second, and Thunderbolt 3 mode goes up to 2700 megabytes per second. This is how it's designed for heat dissipation. It has an integrated temperature and health monitoring system. Here's what the NVMe drive looks like inside. What do you think of the overall design? Leave a comment and let me know. Now let's take a look at the shockproof protective case, this accessory is sold separately. Looks and feels pretty good. Now let's put the SSD inside and see what it looks like. Here we go. Fits perfectly. Here's a closer look. Nice vent design on the sides and cut out on the bottom. So I like the fact that they included both cables to go with it. You can use this Thunderbolt cable to connect it directly to your M1 Mac Mini or M1 Mac. And if your computer doesn't have a Thunderbolt port, you can just use the USB-C to USB-A cable and plug it into your regular USB-A port. So let's go ahead and connect it with the Thunderbolt 3 cable to my M1 Mac Mini. Now I have it connected, let's take a look at how it fits perfectly into my M1 Mac Mini desk setup.
Alright, so now let's run some real world speed tests on this drive. I'll do it first with the Thunderbolt 3 connection, then I'll do it with the USB connection, so stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and select target drive, click the Xtreme Q SSD right here, click open, and click start. Wow, just look at that ride speed, almost 2000 megabytes per second. Look at the read speed, almost 2700 megabytes per second. These speeds are super fast, so if you work with a lot of videos and photos and want to take your work with you on the go, then this drive totally makes sense. The speed test results are amazing, but let's do some real world file transfer speed tests and see how long it takes to transfer files to the SSD. Let's take a look at this file right here. It's almost 37 gigabytes, so let's transfer it from my desktop to the SSD and see how long it takes. Wow, look at that, only a few seconds to transfer almost 37 gigabytes. And there we go, all done, that was super quick. So it's a good idea to have a portable SSD drive, that way you can take your work with you on the go. Let's go ahead and connect it to my iPad Pro and it should automatically connect in USB mode. If you get the new M1 iPad Pro, then it will work in Thunderbolt mode. So let's try to access that file that I transferred to the SSD earlier. Go here and tap files, tap the Xtreme Q SSD right here, and there's our folder. Works perfectly. So the new M1 Macs are known to have slow read and write speeds with external storage drives. I'm going to connect the drive to the USB-A port on the M1 Mac Mini and show you the big difference in speeds and why I recommend this Thunderbolt 3 SSD as it fixes the issue with the slow read and write speeds. Let's go here again and select target drive, choose Xtreme Q SSD, click open, click start, and look at that, only 300 megabytes per second, which is a lot slower compared to the 2000 plus megabytes we got earlier with the drive connected in Thunderbolt mode. So the only way to get faster speeds is with the Thunderbolt 3 NVMe SSD. And no, if you connect a regular USB-C SSD to the USB-C port on the M1 Mac, you will still have the slow speed issues. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and let me know what you think in the comments. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LamarMK. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe, and peace out.